A few months ago, Super Smash Bros. for the 3DS came and went just like that. I also made a review of that game on the 3DS and I've uploaded to this website. And I'll link it in the annotations. But anyways, the reason I'm mentioning that is because a month or two after the 3DS version came out, now the Wii U version of Super Smash Bros. is finally out. Now, so far, this game has been getting a ridiculous amount of hype. I mean, let's be honest here. I've seen people talk about everything from how the Wii U version is going to be the definitive version to how the Wii U version is going to have all these new features, which in reality are mostly just re-added old features they possibly deliberately took out of the 3DS version. And with all the hype this game has been getting, you might have thought that this game was... Like, let's just say, a new intellectual property from an up-and-coming developer that just got picked up by a major publishing company and is expected to sell tons of copies. Or the new installment in a series that promises to change up everything that you thought of beforehand in the series. But no. This is Smash Brothers for the Wii U, and I finally rented the game, and now I can give my verdict on it as I was able to get it from my local family video. So let's start the review, shall we? Super Smash Bros. for the Wii U is literally the same exact game as the 3DS version, just with a new coat of paint. Gameplay-wise, it's the same exact thing, just with a few new options that were removed from previous Smashes have now been re-added. There's also a few gimmicky features people will probably forget about real quickly, such as 8-player Smash. But really, this is the same exact game you've played before. And everything you hated about Super Smash Bros. 4, from the same floaty gameplay to the ledges that seem to just not work, is back. And despite the game trying to play off nostalgia by having the whole GameCube controller adapter which only works with this game and as of now is currently going on Amazon for ridiculous prices, wave dashing and L cancelling and similar techniques have been removed. It's like if Microsoft released a Duke controller for like let's just say the Xbox One but then removed like all the button glitches and that stuff from Halo 2 and Halo 1. People wouldn't like it. And of course then they messed up the aiming too. That's what this is like. And did I mention that the game still has connection issues like the 3DS version had? I ran into several connection issues while I was playing this game. From lag, to connection errors, to air codes. I got them a lot. I mean, remember Battlefield 4 when it first came out? It was the same exact way. And yet Nintendo doesn't seem to have any uh, estimated times for patches or anything like that. Nor are they getting called out by the gaming media or gamers for it. I wonder why. Oh wait, it's Nintendo. So in other words, the game has not been fixed whatsoever. And it's hilarious. Because I was playing Halo PC yesterday online with cell phone internet. And it had much less lag than Super Smash Bros. did. That should tell you something right there. How this new 2014 game can't even do online right. Because keep in mind, Super Smash Bros. Online was like one of the features they hyped in one of the Nintendo Directs. They were showing off how the online mode would be split into for glory and for fun. And I'm guessing that they assumed that you were going to buy the game and expect them to work too. Then again, it also doesn't help that the Wii U is the only system out of all the next-gen systems to not have an Ethernet port. In fact, even the Xbox original and many later versions of the PlayStation 2, like the slim ones, came with an Ethernet port built in. So now that I've talked about the gameplay, let's talk about the graphics, and that's like one of the few other things different from the 3DS version. Oh yeah, the graphics. While I've heard that the game does in fact run at 1080p, two things I'd like to point out. First off, nobody's ever 
independently confirmed the resolution as Digital Foundry hasn't said anything about the game yet. But second, Super Smash Bros. for the Wii U is not a very technically impressive game. I mean, sure, the Wii U was supposed to be a next-gen system. I mean, remember that whole E3 where all the developers were going out and praising it? And yet, look now. There are 360 games from 2007 that look better than Super Smash Bros. on the Wii U. Sure, the frame rates probably aren't as good, because after all, Smash Bros. for the Wii U only looks like a Wii game, and after all, it can run 60 FPS because it doesn't push very much due to the Wii U's weak hardware. But seriously, there are games from years ago that look better than a next-gen 2014 game. Think about that. Because then you take a look at the graphics of Super Smash Bros. for the Wii U. And it doesn't matter what stage you're on. These graphics just don't look good. They don't whatsoever. For a next-gen system, there's a reason this game can run in 1080p. This game looks like a Wii game. It just does. I mean, I, when I first saw the gameplay footage and trailers for this, I thought... Man, this looks an awful lot like Brawl, and you know what? It looks just like Brawl. I mean, remember how there was a graphical improvement from uh, the first one to Melee, and then yet again to a lesser extent from uh, Melee to Brawl? Yeah, that's just not present in this one, because it looks like the same exact game. And that's all I have to say. I mean, sure, it's 60 frames a second, but then again, other systems can run Metro in 60 frames a second, so yeah. Now maybe I'm overanalyzing, maybe the target audience wouldn't care if it looked like an Atari 800 game. But now I'm going to talk about one more thing. While Sony let you buy, like let's just say PlayStation All-Stars, and you get both versions for one price, if you bought the PS3 version, you get the Vita version for free, for example. With this... You don't get a code for the 3DS version if you buy the Wii U version. You have to buy both versions of the game. But hey, at least you get a DLC character which is coming eventually, right? Oh wait, and that character was free in Melee too. So what's my verdict on this game? Don't buy this game. Unless you have to own literally everything with the Nintendo logo on it. And well... You think that anything modern is bad, but that the same game over and over again is unique and innovative. Because really, that's who the target audience for this game is, and that's all I have to say. Thanks for watching, subscribe for more.